former Prime Minister of Australia was once uh, vocal against uh, the so-called same-sex marriage. But he's now changed his mind. And here's a news clip that uh, states his reasons for uh, changing his uh, viewpoint on same-sex. In a stunning backflip, former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd has thrown his support behind same-sex marriage. In a blog posted on his website last night, the Labor backbencher wrote, I believe the secular Australian state should be able to recognise same-sex marriage. The comments mark a significant change for Mr Rudd. In September last year, he voted against gay marriage legislation. He says his change of heart comes after a long period of reflection on the issue. Now, what has changed this uh, Prime Minister's, former Prime Minister's, view on same-sex marriage? Well, from what I read, have read, and what I have seen in, in his news reports, in the reporting of this, it's one, it's a result of his own, what he calls his personal journey. And secondly, it's a result of a recent conversation with a friend of his and a former colleague, colleague who came out as being gay. This person told Mr. Rudd, and I quote, what it was in one of the newspapers, that one day he'd like to get married to another bloke, end of quote. So here we are with another politician changing their mind on this very crucial issue. However, think about this. If every politician voted for so-called same-sex marriage, does it make it right? Does it make a difference if the state recognizes same-sex marriage but allows the churches to do whatever they believe is right? One is right, one is wrong. Well, I believe that the Bible is the very word of God and that the Bible does not change. So therefore, we'll go to the Bible and see what it has to say. There are a few verses in the Old Testament that speak primarily or specifically about Sodomites. And they are 1 Kings chapter 14, verse 24, which says, And there were also Sodomites in the land. And they did according to all the abominations of the nations, which the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. 1 Kings 15, 12. And he took away the Sodomites out of the land and removed all the idols that his fathers had made. 1 Kings 22, verse 46. And the remnant of the Sodomites, which remained in the days of his father Asa, he took out of the land. 1, 2 Kings chapter 23, and verse 7. And he brake down the houses of the Sodomites that were by the houses of the Lord, where the women wove hangings for the grove. And then in Job, chapter 36 and verse 14, the same word that is translated sodomites in the other verses is translated unclean. And it says they die in youth, and their life is among the unclean. Now, none of these verses give a virtue that is worthy of uh, proper society. It was something, it was a lifestyle, it was a, a sin, it was looked down upon, it was not acceptable uh, when one wanted or desired to live as God would have them or as a nation to live. Now Webster's 1828 Dictionary defines sodomy as a crime against nature. As to a sodomite, Webster's 1828 Dictionary says, it's an inhabitant of Sodom, or two, one guilty of sodomy. Now in the New Testament, there's one passage that is of particular interest in this matter of sodomy, homosexuality, and that's chapter 1 of the book of Romans. Let's, let me just read verses 26 through 28. Uh, for this portion, we will not go into great detail on it, but it says this in verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use 
into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their heir, which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Now these verses should be enough for anyone who believes the Bible to be the very word of God. This lifestyle is not one which is honoring to God. Be holy as I am holy, the Lord asks us. Yes, sin is sin, but with the rush to make this lifestyle so acceptable uh, to people, and especially young people, we need to know that God and his word do not view sodomy as a lifestyle, but he views it as a sin. May our nation wake up and repent before it is too late.